So what I want to do is introduce you to Naviance, which is our college and career search engine. You would go to the sign in and you would click on students and families. And in here you would enter our school postal code for Carborough High School. So that's 27510. And then you hit the, the green button. You click on Carborough High School. And then if you need to register, you would click over here or you would have a registration code from us, or I have an email. So I will put in my email here and my password, and I will log in. Now I've opened up Naviance, and I'm gonna start with the college tab. Under the college tab, I can go to colleges I'm thinking about, and I will have a list of different colleges that I've been thinking about or I'm interested in. And you can see here that it gives the delivery type, which it's either common app, electronic, or if it's um, paper mailed. Added by the student, you can put in your interest level if you like. It also gives you the application deadlines. Early decision is November 1st for this school. Um, regular decision is January 2nd. You can also email the school directly. Um, you can see information about the school and you can go to the school's website. What we find really helpful here is if you click on the school's name, so I'll click on NC State, and the students can use this information to see more about the school. They get an overview, um, how much it costs, the graduation rate, you have your studies, um, student life, what, uh, what life would be like on that campus admissions so under admissions you can see the early action deadline application fees acceptance rate you can also see applications from your high school this is carborough high school to north carolina state university and you can see in 2017 that we had 61 students apply 39 were accepted and 11 students enrolled and then if you scroll down you can see where you stand um, compared to students who've been accepted or denied from carborough high school or waitlisted or deferred. And then you can go here and click on ACT. You can change the test type. And you can see where students are mostly accepted. And you see their GPAs and ACTs and where students um, have not been accepted to that school. So it gives you a lot of really good information. Um, they tell you what's required and recommended in terms of um, applications and what's optional. So we find this to be really helpful in terms of making uh, decisions and getting a wide variety of schools to apply to. Uh, the other thing um, that students can do that we find to be really handy is under the college tab, they can also go to the Supermatch College Search. And if you really don't know where you wanna go or what you wanna do, you click on the location. You can pick a region or a state. Um, you can choose by major. You can choose by your scores. You put your scores information in there, tuition fees. So all of these things you can put in there in order to make a selection. So right now I have a search already done. You can go to first search, um, but this is just my search and I'm gonna pin some of the schools. So I'm gonna pin NC State. Um, I'm going to pin Elon and I'm going to pin App State. And then from here, I can go up and I say, I want to compare my pinned schools. And when you do that, you can see NC State, Elon, and App State. And you see if it's public or private, um, all kinds of information about their classification, percent admitted, that gives you really good information, the average ACT, um, the average high school GPA, the tuition, um, number of students, and so on. And then you can find out more about that school. You can also from here, click on the school and it'll take you to their Navi on site. And again, you can see more information about the school, where you would fit. You can click on admissions and see the scatter plot. Um, so it's really handy to have. And then you can change the SATs to ACTs and get all of the information there. So, so anyway, we go here, it's the SAT, and then here we call it the ACT. Okay, there we go. And then you can see where you fit. 
Um, so it's really handy in terms of finding information about colleges. The other piece that I find really helpful is under About Me, um, for students to do the assessment, do what you are. Now this is the Myers-Briggs personality assessment and it gives you all kinds of information about your personality type and who you are as a thinker and a person and who you are socially. And then you can click on related careers and it tells you all of the careers based on what I was interested in, my education and training, um, careers that would be a good fit for me. So I can click on the career and I can see an overview of the job description, related occupations, related college majors, um, knowledge and skills. What would I need to know to be successful in that career? Tasks and activities, what I would be doing in that career and wages, how much I would be making in that career. So it's really handy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And then you can see here, if I pull up this, just the field of study, you can see all of the schools that have that as a college major. So those are really handy. Um, and that's just a super quick overview of Naviance. It does a lot of other stuff, but this is just the introduction. Thank you.